Hi, welcome back to Suzy's Scrap and Spot. In my video tutorial today, I am going to show you how to get text onto your Cricut cutting mat. So if we just head over here to our tools menu, click our T for text, and then click on our mat, we can start typing. Now while you're in this mode, you cannot edit anything that you just typed other than to hit your backspace and delete it. So you need to go right over here to your tools menu and click on your pointer tool, and then you get these little nodes and you can use these nodes to skew it um, if you wanted to drag it and make it long and narrow like that you could do that if you wanted to pull it down and make it tall and skinny you can do that you can rotate it with these corner arrows that kinda have the arc on them and make it go sideways or just a little diagonal whatever you want to do with it you can do Okay, I'm going to actually delete this and start again, so I don't have to mess with changing all that. Back to my pointer, and then I'm going to come to my properties box and hit keep in proportions, because when I drag my corner, it's going to drag to the right and down, and I want it to keep it in proportion with each other. There we go. And whenever you have the four arrows crossing like this, that means you move, you can move the whole image. So I'm going to just move it over just a little bit. Drag it down a little bigger. Okay, perfect. So when I look at my mat, the bottom of my Y comes to about the four inch line. So I need to make sure I have at least probably a four and a half inch piece of paper by 12 inches to make sure that I can cut all these letters. And that's pretty much all there is to getting font on your Cricut mat. Then once you're ready to cut, you would just come up here and hit the scissors and it would cut on your Cricut. That simple. So in my next tutorial, I will show you how to weld these letters together. So come back and check that out. Thanks for stopping by.